Nutrix today we're working on the Model 16 and more specifically, how does it work as a multiple in and out interface with the iPad? Quick answer, it works not always the same way for all softwares. So I did try out some of the software I had and I, we see a pattern of when it works, it does this and when it doesn't work, actually not fully work, it does that. So let's look into how to make it work and where are the limits? Let's go. So the Model 16 task cam, just to remember, it's a 14 input plus the stereo out. So 14 in plus 14 out plus two, so 16 out. That's the logic. So you basically have 14 in and 14 out for the mixer itself. It means that all the gear that I have here is connected directly into all of the inputs on the mixer. And the mixer has, well, all of them, I'm using TRS quarter inch cables, so standard jacks if you want, straight from the output of the audio devices. So I have a Uno Synth Pro, I have the Mini Freak from Arturia, I have the uh, Micro Freak, the Roland SH01A, I have a MC707, a TR8S, a System 8, and at the other end over there, you've got a Novation uh, Circuit Mono Station, which is an analog synth slash drum machine. I'll talk more about that in, in another in the video. So all of these, they're straight connected into all of these inputs here. So I, I have 14 inputs connected here. I could actually have the 13, 14, uh, from an iPad using Bluetooth, but I'm not using that right now. I'm using the, the iPad connected straight. I'm using the Apple adapter. The USB connector is going straight from the Model 15, uh, Model 16, and going straight from the Model 16 into the iPad. And I have the power at the same time connected here. Just to show you what I mean, we have this here. So I've got the power here. So I'm sure that the iPad will not drain. And if, in this case, the Model 16 does not need power from the USB, it actually is connected in the power outlet on the wall. And the USB is straight to the Model 16. As you can actually go through a hub, but not hubs, USB hubs are not made all the same. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And it depends what else you have on the hub and all that stuff. To get that hub problem out of the way, I'm connecting this straight to the mixer. So the setup I have right now is really just for using the iPad as an effect processor or a mixing suite combined with the mixer. But it's not sending MIDI to the devices because they're not on the connector. You know, this is just for the Model 16. So this is connected straight into the iPad just so you remember, I have an iPad Pro M1, the first generation of the M1. So still works really well, super powerful, really happy about it. By connecting it, the OS itself sees it because when I go between different softwares, it actually sees the 16 inputs and the six, actually 14 inputs and 16 outputs. No, the other way around, 16 in and 14 outs, that's it. The system, the iOS sees it. now from one software to the other, they don't see the same thing. Some apps only see two ins and two outs, the first two and the first two, that's it. So they're limited to that. Others, most of the, I would say the DAW that I have on the iPad, will see 16 inputs, but will not see 14 outputs. So they will see multiple in, but the out in, I would say, half of the one I have, it will be stereo in the output. So it means that you can get separate inputs for all of this. You can create effects and modify them. But when it comes out, it comes out in a stereo mix already summed up and comes out into one and two. It's not a problem per se. It's just a question of it will force you into one way of working if that's what you want to do that's going to be forced upon you on that workflow that you cannot mix separately all of these 
if you're using a software that only sees the stereo out. And I don't know why it does it this way. It just does. So I'll talk about the software that actually works, and I'll do a little bit of a list of those who only see stereo out. It still works, but it works, I would say, in a limited fashion. And just remember that the iPad is not, um, the OS of the iPad is not as powerful as the Mac, for example, where you can basically take a couple of different USB interfaces and com you know create a composite of them, like having many of them, and the OS will see it as a big 16 inputs, which is actually maybe five different interfaces. That's not the case on the iPad. When you have multiple one, most time it becomes fuzzy, knowing which one is which. Uh, so you really need to have one, and the OS, you sp select that one, and it will be stable. If you have more than one, it could be weird. It's not... It's not there yet, I would say. So that's why I only have one on it right now, and it works. So let's actually go into, and I'll bring you closer. Mixbox was made for this. Mixbox is made to receive up to eight different, you know, unit here. Let's say I'm gonna take this one here. Have this one here, go to the second unit, and I wanna have glue for the drum. Second one, bring me the harmonics. Third one is going to be, I don't know, fourth one, sorry, is going to be uh, for drums, let's say, it's going to be ambient groove. So these are just different presets of rack of units. So you basically have one, two, three, four, actually five, six, seven, and eight. All of them can be on a different input. Now to set that up, let's say go on the first one. One, you click here. If you go to setup, Rack one is receiving from one and two. So on my mixer, what's playing on one and two, if I go switch the little button between the gain and the compressor, if I switch it to PC, what you hear now will be the output of the PC, the Mac, the iPad in this case. Though so you have got inputs, so one, two, three, four, so the rack number three is connected to five, six. So what's playing on five, six? Again, if I put it on PC, it will play. Now, if I press play on my kit here, please. Everything now plays over there. And when it gets to that, after the gain, it goes into the USB interface, goes into the process here and goes back there. Now to hear something, that's the thing. How do you hear something? Well. You have to go into output, and you see, that's the problem. It only sees output one and two. So it goes back into one and two over there, which is not what I want. I want it to go back each separate track. So I don't understand why and how, but directly in Mixbox, it only sees multiple in and stereo out. Now, if you do have a multiple in and out interface, try Mixbox and tell me if you see more than one and two. Because what I don't understand, if, if I use Cubasis, it will see the input and the output. If I use AUM, it will see the input and the output. It will work. Some apps do see it, others do not. I don't know why and how, but the limits are there. So I'm gonna close this, and I'm gonna go into Cubasis 3. I'm gonna load the latest one I have. So the input that playing is now. So if I press record on this one here, created a new song in the Model 16, activated all the record ready buttons, and then I'm gonna press record for this one. So now it works. It records straight into this one. Which is kind of bizarre because if I bring the volume up and down for each of them, or if I press solo, then I hear, I hear only one. And for each of them, I can go in a different unit here that I have. Say effect routing. I've got beef on. This is input one. So it's going to be on that drum over here. So this drum here. So 
So this one is going through beef. That's all that distorted sound coming in. If I say, no, I don't want it, I'm gonna go second one. I go here, three and four. Three and four are supposed to be Three and four is actually this one over there. You can hear it. So now I'm processing what's going from that scent going into three and four. Three and four is sent to USB, goes through the process, sent back to the mixer. That's what we hear. So that's the channeling it. So I would have to actually maybe identify all my inputs so I know where everything is. But that's the logic. You know, after that, five and six, I'm not even sure what is. I can actually go solo this one. Is it this one? So if I go this one, I'll go Effect Bandit, okay. So I'm actually using my Cubasis only as a rack mount of effects to be able to process my hardware with multiple different effects and having access to all the audio unit plugins that I have. I've got a bunch of really cool one. So my hardware has access to a rack mount full of stuff that I can use using this approach. So I still gonna have, if I switch them back to live instead of PC on my mixer, I'm gonna hear all of them without going through the computer, which is the iPad. And what I'm teaching right now, what I'm telling you right now, you can do also with computer. So instead of an iPad, if you connect that into your computer and you put it to PC instead of live, you're gonna be processing everything inside your computer if you wanna go through it and back into the mixer and mixing that. And then you're mi recording the mix in the task cam by pressing record straight on it. So. It's, it's a whole th whole process about it. It works actually pretty well. When you identify things correctly, you'll see where you are. So in Cubasis, I'm going to the routings, you, ge you get the stereo input, you get stereo, and then you select which one you see. I see 16, you know, stereo output, and you've got 14. So it works you have access to everything. So all of my inputs can be processed either in mono or stereo. It all fu functions correctly. So Cubasis works correctly. AUM works correctly. It sees all the different inputs and all the different outputs. Drambo works correctly also. Zenbeats, the inputs are multiple inputs, but the stereo is only a stereo out. Most of the other apps I tried the output only seed stereo out, not multiple out. What you, I think, no, Nano Studio 2, what you have is multiple in, multiple out, but it's just kind of muted. Everything, if you don't assign to one and two, all of the other one is, they're there, but there's no sound coming out. So I don't understand. Maybe there's some way that I'm not using it correctly. There seems to be, in my experience on the iPad M1 running iOS 16 with the model 16, all 16 right now. Uh, kind of, pro there's there's some type of problem on actually seeing the 16 different outputs or the 14 different outputs in all the software. So it's not system wide, and it's not by default everybody sees it. No, it seems that the different apps need to be able need to be coded in a way to see all the inputs. So it's kind of a drag. If you have other apps you want me to test, if I have it, I'll test it. So write down in the comments if you want me to test it. You know, if you have a multiple in and out interface and you test different apps running it on the iPad, tell me the result you have. It's kind of weird. I don't think it's the task cam itself because other apps like Cubasis sees them, the inputs and outputs. So it's it must be a way of coding that um, there might be kind of a single level of coding where everybody sees stereo in and it works. But if you want more input, it has to be coded in a different way. I don't know. I don't code for the iOS. If anybody codes for the iOS and know more about that, write in the comments, please.
please. That's it. So it still works really well, but your app that you want to use needs to be program or needs to be supporting it if you really want to have them separately. If not, like I said earlier, it doesn't mean that if, let's say I want to do it in Zenbeats because I'm using Zenbeats most, most of the time, it doesn't mean it's going to be a problem. But if I want to process all of these sounds and record them separately, then in a way it is a problem because I won't be able to record them separately straight into that. I have also Zenbeats on my Mac. And on the Mac, it sees the 16 inputs. So if I have to do that, now I'm going to be, on, be doing it on the Mac in Zenbeats because it's, it, I have it on both platforms. So I'll find a way around it, but it should see it. So I'm kind of wondering and asking, please, companies, makers, developers, make it so that the your different apps sees the multiple inputs if you have and the multiple outputs. That's that's kind of where it hurts. The input works, but the outputs, people say, well, stereo out. No, I have a multiple output and input mixer. I want to use all of them. That's it. Oh, this is actually useful. If you have more suggestion, comments, question, and experience with multiple in and out interfaces on the iPad, write below. See you soon. Have fun. Make more music.